And so multifamily has always been very solid. People need a place to live. Um, it's easier to finance. It's easier to find those properties and understand them. It's easier to communicate with the owners. They're just month to month leases pretty much. Um, I've always loved those and they always do really, really well, except because of legislation, right? So that's getting affected a little bit, rent control and things like that. So in areas like California here, um, that's now being impacted a little bit, but it's still very strong, right? Rents are up 80, 85% uh, of people are paying rent. So it's still going very well. Then you look at retail. And I remember when COVID hit about a year ago, and I may have mentioned this even, uh, that a blanket statements right and left, oh, it's going to crash, the retail sector's dead. And I'm looking at that going, that's, those are statements that shouldn't really be made because what if you have a, a retail um, business with an essential business in it? What if you have a Walgreens? Right. You know? What if you have a dollar, dollar General? What if you have, right? What if, what if? So depending on the, on whether it's a Subway with a corporate guarantee or a, a Stephen Moraldo's sub sandwich, mm -hmm. you know, those are two different things. Those are two different um, opportunities or two different challenges maybe because Stephen sub, Stephen sub sandwiches may not be corporate guaranteed and he may not have a personal guarantee or he may not have the wealth to back the personal guarantee that is on there. Um, so I think you have to look at all those things and then say, okay, you know, uh, is this a good or good opportunity or good uh, investment or not?